Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Coffee and Current Events and welcome back to another Ukraine war mapping update. Today I have some very interesting news for you guys coming straight from the front line in eastern Ukraine. Today we're going to talk once again about the Battle of Bakhmut. So I guess you could call this a Bakhmut mapping update. But I think it's reaching pretty close to the end. Bakhmut is nearly encircled and the Ukrainian troops have withdrawn up to the Bakhmuta River. And the Russians are now occupying the east bank of Bakhmut. In the city center, the Bakhmuta River now marks the front line. Wagner units are now taking the lead in the fighting, and the river has allegedly become a proverbial killing zone for Wagner units, while at the same time, Ukrainian forces are at risk of being cut off. Okay, now here's the thing. The river's a, forget the river. The entire city's a killing zone for both Wagner and Ukraine. Wagner's taking heavy losses, so are the Ukrainians. Now, if we look at an actual map of Bakhmut, Bakhmut is almost surrounded. It's almost completely cut off. Now, I don't think there's too many Ukrainian soldiers still in this city. They already had to withdraw from the east of Bakhmut, meaning they do not fully control the city and there's not over 10,000 Ukrainian soldiers still in Bakhmut proper. Now outside of Bakhmut, you probably have plenty of Ukrainian forces and some kind of defensive line to prevent a Russian encirclement. In the meantime, Russian forces are pressing their assault on Bakhmut. Every day their assault gets stronger. The Russian forces slash Wagner keep putting more and more men. It's a numbers game. They got more numbers. They keep putting on more and more men. They keep putting on weight after weight after weight after weight. That Ukrainian plank is gonna give way. And here's the thing you have to get about Bakhmut. A lot of people think Russia is sending hordes of, uh, hordes of untrained conscripts against these hyper-trained Navy SEAL Ukrainians who are inflicting 10 to 1 casualty ratios on the Russians and destroying Wagner. That narrative could not be farther from the truth. Ukrainian forces are extremely untrained, pathetically untrained. You have to remember, most of their forces have been decimated from the Kharkiv counteroffensive, the Kherson counteroffensive, the Battle of Solodar, and the Battle of Bakhmut. This has decimated a large percentage of Ukraine's actual good, battle-hardened troops. And now they're forced to rely on these increasingly low-quality soldiers. There are rumors about 15-year-old kids and 60-year-old men being sent to the front line in Ukraine, to the front line in Bakhmut specifically, to this meat grinder to be systematically annihilated not too long after. It's being said that the average life expectancy of a new inexperienced Ukrainian soldier in Bakhmut is about four hours. Four hours! That's like breakfast to lunch. So the Ukrainian forces are increasingly low quality, while the Russian forces' quality is tending to remain the same. So not only do the Russians now likely possess the qualitative edge over the Ukrainians, they also likely possess the quantitative edge over the Ukrainians. People always make a big fuss over what's better, quality or quantity. Here's what I say, have both of them. And if you have both quality and quantity working on your side, you're likely gonna win the day. And that's what's going on in Bakhmut. So Ukrainian forces are nearly trapped. If they don't get out of that city soon, they will end up getting trapped. That's all we have for you guys today coming from the Bakhmut front. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel where you're not missing out on any new updates we have coming at you. Be sure to share this video with a friend. God bless, and I'll catch you next time.